So, um, doing a video um, to reflect on my thoughts and emotions and karma. Um, I wanted to reflect on the fact that um, well, I'm not really sure why I'm doing this video but I wanted to reflect on the fact that um, of great yogis and how they often um, have very powerful emotions around other great yogis and there's a possibility of yogis also falling from grace and reconnecting through another life. Um, and those emotions can be very raw, very intense. Um, Even if you haven't seen that person for many lifetimes, emotions can come flooding back very intensely. <clears throat> for instance, I don't know whether anyone else has had this, but in the past I've had relationships where my emotions haven't been very intense. And then I've had other relationships where my emotions have been very intense. Um, recently with Aaron and going back much further with Lee as well. Um, <clears throat> and I've had many relationships in between Lee and Aaron. I've had several relationships in between Lee and Aaron as well. Um... I've probably had somewhere between 10 and 20 relationships in my life, I'd say. Um, something like that, anyway. But I wanted to reflect on the fact that um, great yogis can fall from grace and unless they meditate or do some self-development in this lifetime, they won't realise where they went wrong and where they fell from grace <laughs> and um, <coughs> yeah so I wanted to reflect on that really after watching um, Carmageddon the, um, the relationship between Bhagavan Daz and another one of his disciples and I wanted to make some, I wanted to compare intuitively, in, intuitively, I wanted to compare my relationship with the relationships I've had with other people. Um, because I do feel that I knew Aaron in many lifetimes. Um, I mean, I've felt a connection with people I've only met for for a few days. So someone that stays with me for over two years, I'd say there was probably a very deep connection going back many lifetimes ago. I haven't forgotten that he owes me £800 and I haven't forgotten that he's damaged the house and I haven't forgotten that he's cut the back brakes off my bike and I haven't forgotten that he's tried, well he's trying to, tried, try, trying or tried to kill me by cutting the back brakes off my bike, off both of the bikes. Um. <clears throat> I 
but I have a lot of good friends with me, around me, I mean. And, uh, and yeah, I mean, today I've been to Worcester with Metcalf. I was in Hereford yesterday. Last week I was in Stratford with Lee and Chris. Um, yeah, I'll do loads of things. And then a few days before that I was in Telford visiting Ben with Lee. Um, so yeah. But we're straying away now from what I was trying to get to. Which is that, um... <coughs> the light comes down from above and reconnects with the... It reconnects with all the, um... With all the lower astral energies, it reconnects with them. It's like a firework, it goes round and round, lighting them up. Goes round and round really, really fast, like that, and it lights them up. Um, yeah. So I wanted to make that comparison and work that out. Could be going back as far as 10,000 years. Hmm. God is all. Love is all. Jesus is all, Mother is all, God is all, Mother is all, Jesus is all, God is all. We are free, thou art free, you are free, thy art free. Oh, money, money, oh. Okay, God bless. God bless. God bless.